Okay. Anybody want to? Yes, Ravi. Let me read the Sanskrit. Translation. I can find no reasons to drive away this grief, which is no grind. means. No means. No yeah, means. sorry. I can find no means to drive away this grief, which is drying up my senses. I will not be able to dispel it even if I win a prosperous, unraveled kingdom on earth with sovereignty like demigod, like the demigods in heaven. Purport. Although Arjuna was putting forward so many arguments based on the knowledge of the principles of religion and moral codes, it appears that he was unable to solve his real problem without the help of spiritual master, Lord Sri Krishna. He could understand that his so-called knowledge was useless in driving away his problems. which were drying up his whole existence and it was impossible for him to solve such perplexities without the help of a spiritual master like lord krishna academic knowledge scholarship high position etc are all useless in solving the problems of life help can be given only by a spiritual master like krishna therefore the conclusion is that a spiritual master who is 100 100% krishna conscious is the bona fide spiritual master for he can solve the problems of life lord chaitanya said that one who is the master in the science of krishna conscious regardless of his social position is the real spiritual master viva viprakivanya si shudra kene nai ai krishna tatva tatva eta sei guru haya It does not matter whether a person is a vipra learns scholar in vedic wisdom or is born in a lower family or is in the renounced order of life if he is a master in the science of krishna he is the perfect and bona fide spiritual master chaitanya chaitamrit madhya 8.182 so without being a master in the science of krishna conscious no one is a bona fide spiritual master it is also said in the vedic literature उंडे cannot be counteracted by accumulation of wealth and economic development in many parts of the world there are states which are replete with all the facilities of life which are full of wealth econo- and economically developed yet the problems of material existence are still present they are seeking peace in different ways but they can achieve real happiness only if they consult krishna or the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam which constitute the science of krishna through the bona fides represented or uh, representative of krishna the man in krishna consciousness if economic development and material comforts could drive away one's limitation for family social national and or international inabilities then arjuna would not have said that an even an unraveled kingdom on earth or supremacy like that of the demigods in the heavenly planet would be unable to drive away his limitations he sought therefore refuge in krishna consciousness and this is a right path for peace and harmony economic development or supremacy over the world can be finished at any moment by the cataclysm of material nature even elevation into higher planetary situation as men are now seeking on the moon planet can be finished in at one stroke the bhagavad gita confirms this shine punne mathe lokam mission ki when the results of the pious activities are finished once falls down again from the peak of happiness to the lowest status of life many pe- politician of the world have fallen down in that way such downfall only constitute more causes for lamentations therefore if we want to curb lamentation for good then we have to take shelter of krishna as arjuna is seeking to do so arjuna asks krishna to solve his problem definitely and that is the way of krishna consciousness <laughs> Okay, I can find no means to drive away this grief. This grief, so much is grief is so much that it is, 
actually drying up his senses i mean we can imagine when our senses get dried up when we are really in like very bad shape right so he's saying i can't find any means to drive away and i will not be able to dispel it even if i win something some material possession some prosperous kingdom some you know overall sovereignty like complete command over things like demigods in heaven even that will not drive away this means that anything that i am going to possess materially from out of this war is not going to help me is spell it right so all the arjuna was putting forward so many arguments based on knowledge of principles it appears that he was unable to solve this problem without the help of his divine master it is impossible for him it was impossible to solve without the help of his master like krishna academic knowledge scholarship high position etc all, all useless in solving problems of life we understand right the proper says means where that you know uh, uh, academic knowledge scholarship high position this can actually become disadvantage disqualification for progress in bhakti because you might think that you know this right and that you know all these other people they don't have enough understanding of life and you know then we'll question shastra will question krishna everything right and of course people have too much of money etc they don't want to even talk to the sadhus okay they are cheaters they don't just take away my money so they want to protect themselves they don't even interact with the sadhus now conclusion is that a spiritual master is 100% krishna consciousness conscious is the bona fide spiritual master but he can solve the problems of life so the whole focus is on solving the problems of life now see it is very important when we have taken the krishna consciousness and we should take it up with full zeal with full seriousness see because either we have to solve or not solve right like we can't be in the middle this is the thing about you know when western westerners right they they known for this right anything that they pick up they do it whole heartedly right they don't put one leg here one leg there like right? and that is the problem with you know mostly this india uh, culture is you know we don't take up anything very serious we should take it up seriously because the idea is to solve get out of this you know material bondage that we are in so we should solve the problem we should work towards solving the problem which is so many things that we need to do right utsa anishcha daiya then we have to take care of our vegas and follow regulatory principles follow sadhana you know progress increase the number of hours in bhakti so many things we have to do right so we have to be serious in that about solving our the problems of life it is not for like oh, okay it was nice you know like before coming to krishna consciousness you know we didn't know about all these things now we know okay i'm chanting i'm eating prasad i'm it is okay going fine this is good But then what happens is you know when we get into difficulty that's when we will know really where what our stance is right how strong we are in krishna consciousness so we should be serious about solving the problem of life and work towards it hmm. yeah this we understand does not matter the person to be proud or not columns of material existence cannot be contracted by accumulation of wealth and economic development <laughs> unfortunately devotees even uh, people after becoming devotees also they are behind wealth and economy which is very sad right because the idea is not to accumulate wealth and economic development because it's not going to solve our problems right we came into krishna consciousness to solve our real problems but then uh, you know once things kind of somewhat on etc we again turn towards wealth and economic development. otherwise we should be following the principles of bhagavatam right we say one should only earn for maintaining body and soul together not for not for you know not not to do economic development they can achieve real happiness only if they consult krishna which constitute the sense of krishna through the bona fide so we have to always be in touch with krishna consciousness if you want to re- achieve real happiness we should be in touch with krishna consciousness we should be in touch meaning like anything and everything that we do should be according to krishna according to bhagavad gita according to bhagavad we should not be disconnected from the instructions of krishna for which we have to read 
Krishna's instructions as Srila Prabhupada has given us. We have to make notes. We have to consult those notes. Make sure that we internalize all these teachings that are there in Bhagavad Gita specifically. Then we can achieve real happiness. Then we can achieve real happiness. Economic development, material efforts to drive away one's lamentations for family or Prabhupada is using this inebriety. Inebriety means like craziness. And Arjuna would not have said that an unrivaled kingdom on our so this drive away lamentations. Now we remember, right? This was no Prasanna Now even after coming to Krishna consciousness, if we have this socha, sochana, soch means lamentation, soka. Right? If you have lamentations, that means that we have actually not taken up very seriously the path. We should not have any lamentations if you have come into Krishna consciousness. Hmm. Therefore, he sought a refuge. So, once who, one who has sought the refuge already should not have any lamentation because that is the right path for peace and harmony. So, we should have peace, harmony, happiness, everything in our life. Hmm? Anything, any kind of material advancement can be destroyed in one stroke. So, no point going behind it. Such downfalls only cause more constitute more causes of lamentation, right? So we have to keep going behind these material things, it will result in more causes of lamentation. So if we want to curb lamentation for good, then we have to take shelter of Krishna. And this applies not just for people who have not taken come to Krishna consciousness, but to also all of us who are in Krishna consciousness. Yeah. Gayatri Mataji, you have a question? Ah, okay. No problem. Okay. So, so basically, the so we if we have to curb lamentation for good, then we have to take shelter of Krishna. So shelter means anukulyasa sankalpa pratikulyasa vajanam lakshishati vishwasa vajanam pratmani kshepa karpanyo shadvidasa nanati so, the solution for all our problems is complete surrender to Krishna. That is the only solution. Okay. Any questions? Anybody has any? Okay. We'll do one more verse and Jayavacha eva mukpa rishi kesham gura kesha parantapa nayotsaiti vovindam mukpa tushnim babuvaha. Sanjaya said, Having spoken the Sarjana, chastiser of enemies told Krishna, Govinda, I shall not fight. He fell silent. Rastra must have been very glad to understand that Arjuna was not going to fight and was instead leaving the battlefield for begging profession. But Sanjaya disappointed him again in relating that Arjuna was competent to kill his enemies using the word parantapa. Although Arjuna was for the time being overwhelmed with false grief due to family affection, he surrendered to Krishna. As I just said, this indicated that he would soon be free from the false lamentation resulting from family affection and would be enlightened with perfect knowledge of self realization. Surely, if I thus distrust Ajay, I would be frustrated since Arjuna would be enlightened with Krishna and would fight to the end. So this is very clearly saying what state we should not be in. Similarly, like you know, in the previous verse, right? So if we have surrendered to Krishna, which is what Arjuna did, then we should be free from all false lamentation, resulting from what family affection, material possessions, material happiness. Hmm? So we should be free from any kind of material attachments. This is very important. Hmm? So Krishna consciousness means that all the time know that I am not this body. At all times. Hmm? Because only then we can engage in the activities of the soul. Which is be engaged in loving devotional service. Actually we talk about this loving devotional service. I mean we are 
Sometimes we struggle to do devotion. Forget about that. Chaitanya said, Charitamrita Krishna says that one of the, you know, talking about reasons, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is talking about reasons why Krishna comes as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He says, Krishna is saying, oh, mostly in this world there is only Vaidhi Bhakti for me. Everybody is engaged in awe and reverence. But this with his awe and reverence, they can't come to my loka. Because in Boloka Vrindavan, there is no awe and reverence. So I want to teach this Madhuriya Prema to people. So Krishna's intention is that we should all go back to him. So for which first we have to perform Vaidhi Bhakti, then slowly come to Raganuga Bhakti and then achieve. Perfection. So it's a lot of hard work. It will not happen just like that. We should have a clear plan for our life in terms of how we are going to make progress. We should develop that plan in conjunction with plan as in, you know, like once we, if we surrender fully to Guru and are in constant touch with Guru and his instructions, then Guru will direct us to follow towards that. But we should also have a plan not to get stuck with material things and, you know, which will drive us away from Krishna. So just do enough to keep body and soul together. Focus all energies on Krishna consciousness.